Hey, good morning, folks. Hope you guys are doing well. All right, we got, as I've been talking about, we've got several different special projects lining up. This is uh, the first of those, uh, and this should go fairly fast. I really want to go into issues with uh, with layout on something special. So this is uh, based on a request from a friend of ours from Las Vegas. His name is Andrew and he owns Reclaimed Secrets, which is where we buy a lot of our wood slabs. By the way, it's about 110 today. We've got the air conditioning going, so I'm gonna try and speak up a little bit. But anyway, Andrew um, has some amazing slabs over there that we get on a regular basis. When we've got something special we want to do, we go over and, and he uh, has a great source for just tons of different kinds of slabs. So he contacted me. We're friends. We talk on a regular basis. He contacted me about uh, a commission job he got. The Air Force has contacted him about making, he, he not only sells slabs, but he makes big tables. And when I say big tables, I mean big tables. He makes small ones too, but he makes like, I think we saw a slab over there like 25 foot long. I mean like huge, like tree sized tables. Anyway, it's amazing what this guy does. And you guys, Oh yeah, he's just a kid. You guys will see, uh, you will see uh, more stuff from him in the future on my channel. Anyway, so what he said is the Air Force contacted him to make him a special set of three tables. So, uh, baby, if you want to come down here, I'm going to show you guys what we got. This is going to be the middle part of three tables that go in in a sequence. This was a cut out of one big slab and there's two other pieces that go on both sides of this. This will be the middle piece and the tables the tables will be able to be separate but then when they're put together one there and one down here it will all be look like one piece of wood which it was at one point. So what he wants me to do is this is the logo that uh, yeah, he's actually, the middle piece here, he's actually going to do a big decal. But what he wanted is he wanted me to carve the airplanes in there. And then he's going to uh, epoxy fill those with a special color of epoxy. So he furnished me this board and um, I'm just going to, I'm basically going to carve these, these just silhouettes and carve them in and then um, going to leave them. So, so now you kind of have an idea of what we're working with. So what I really want to go over here is when you've got something special like this and you can see this, this slab is not, it's square square here but it's a uh, live edge at the top and it's big and you know bulky up there so what we did uh, first of all we uh, because we knew he was going to put something in the center we went ahead and just cut a circle we did it with our laser but you guys could do it with your scroll saw or bandsaw or cut a piece of paper doesn't matter we wanted that just as a reference to be able to make sure that everything was going to lay out around that so what we did was we, we put a center line. We found the center line of where we wanted, what we thought the center of the board is. Now, it gets kind of tricky because you don't have a square end on, on both sides here and you've got this big, big thing up here. So if you were going from the top of here, uh, the top on this edge, as compared to the top on this edge, from here to here is about 48. And the center line of that puts it at right at this mark. Now, if you just go from the center of here, I know I'm jumping around. Can you still see me? And to center here, then our mark is like down here. So we tried it both ways and uh, neither one of them looked quite right. So what we did is this is the center of our square ends. This is the, the true center from the top to the bottom and we split the difference. So we, we thought it looked best 
uh, looked, more centered. looked more centered when we split the difference. Vicky was the biggest part of this layout. Uh, it was this was me and Vicky uh, really kind of worked on this together. So she's really becoming good, have a good eye at that stuff, which uh, is a big help to me. <laughs> it really is. I need somebody to bounce that kind of stuff off of. So once we got our center mark, then everything is measured off of that. Everything is measured off the center. Then we took our airplanes and we, we then cut those with the laser. Again, that could be done with cardboard or whatever. But then we realized we had different, um, different widths here. So then we had to make center marks basically on our planes. So everything was center from here, measured off of here to the center of the planes to try and emulate what they've got going here. So there's really, there's a lot going on here just from a layout standpoint to make this look right. So we basically measured over center over this way, center over this way, and tried to lay the, the planes out in, uh, in the sequence where we thought that they would look best. So I'm actually just gonna put them so that was that was. They, they're still in the same place. They're the same planes in the same spot. On yeah, they're, these are on the board, uh, the same sequence that they are here, um, or they're supposed to be, unless we really screwed up. But that's that's the way we see it. So then, once that's done, then okay. So how do we do the layout? Now, being as this is a piece of spalted pecan, being as I've never really. Um, I'm not going to spray this thing and make them black because uh, Andrew is actually going to epoxy fill those. Um, I really didn't want to spray and have to sand off. So what we ended up doing, even though it took a little time, but it was really easy to do, it would take us 10 minutes at the most to just draw around them. Once we had these, we just used the fine Sharpie and drew around them with a Sharpie. And then that way, once the carving is done, it's completely done. Move this. And once it's done, then the car, then the, the whole sign is basically done. If I have any of this little black stuff, I may sand that slightly. But my my goal is by the time the carving is all done, um, that's it. Then I will take it back to Andrew. And uh, you can see there's some some places that kind of opened up. So he's still got more fill to do here. Um, and so he needs to actually do epoxy fill on these and then probably fill some more of the the little voids there's some over here that he needs to fill so he he is really a magician when it comes to this stuff and we will definitely show you guys some of the well number one this when it's completely all done you'll get to see what it looks like but um, it's pretty amazing the his tables he really is an, an artist when it comes to that stuff so that is is pretty much it as far as the layout goes I'm sure let me see if I've um, if I've left because I, I left myself some notes to go by um, I got to carve it a little bit deeper than normal so I'm gonna go at least a quarter of an inch maybe a little deeper um, I'll probably do all the carving as far as the detail stuff with the profile bit, because these are pretty big uh, areas there's nothing detailed in here so much that I can't do with the profile bit and then I'll uh, probably go in uh, where I can with the um, spiral upcut and make it flat bottom. So there's no reason to put a texture in the in the background of these. And that was Vicky's idea, by the way. Um, but I thought of it too. She just didn't want to admit that I thought of it as well. Anyway, I'm just saying. So um, that is uh, that's pretty much it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this out onto the patio and uh, we're gonna carve some of this stuff and see how it comes out. So stick with us, we'll be right back. Hey guys, all right, so uh, we're gonna get to carving here in a second, but I wanted to share something with you again. I, if you guys remember, I don't know, it's been like a month, uh, uh, at least at least three or four weeks that I actually glued this uh, light in place with the star bond and I just want to give them a shout out again this stuff is amazing I find I'm using it every day we use it on some of our production stuff we use it constantly I mean I probably using this stuff 
three or four times a day now for different things. But uh, when you guys saw me glue this, uh, my light in place, I don't know, it's been like a month ago. It is still like rock solid. I mean, this is uh, has really been a game changer for me. So I want you guys to see what this light in this position does for me. That's what I see. I'm gonna turn the router around and start carving, but this is what I see. That's how it has really enhanced. Having those lights in that position has really enhanced, and the Starbond glue works so great for that. So uh, we'll come back on the next scene, and I've got to explain some stuff uh, for you on here. Of uh, I'm kind of changing my, uh, my way here a little bit, but I'll get right back to you on that. Hey guys, all right, so being as this is really a special thing, I've kind of, I was thinking about it and I've kind of decided, I told you before that I was gonna use the profile bit, but there are some areas here that normally I would just stay with a profile bit, but because these are gonna be resin filled and this, this board has actually developed a little bit of a cup, so I know that Andrew, my buddy, is gonna to have to sand quite a bit of this Everything has to be deep. So it's not like I can have it gradual where these things will just be sprayed and then sanded a little bit. Everything has to be deep, like a quarter of an inch deep. So because of that, there are some tight areas that I won't be able to get a quarter of an inch deep with the profile bit. So I'm gonna have to make multiple cuts with the carving liner, the 18 degree carving liner that I use and you guys have seen me use that before, I'm gonna have to make in, in certain areas, um, and uh, babe, if you wanna come down, I'll show them, kinda show everybody what I'm doing. So I've got it set at a 16th of an inch right now, the carving liner bit. So in these areas here on this, and then and the very tip of the plane up here, which is kinda probably hard for you guys to see, I don't think I can get right to that point um, at a quarter of an inch deep. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut three, at least three different depths, starting at a 16th and then gradually going down. And I'm gonna do these two planes. This plane over here doesn't need it, but this has some detail areas and then this one has that, uh, that shaft out, out front. So I'm gonna have to cut that at three different areas. So I'm gonna be going back and forth on these two planes, setting my depth gradually, a little bit at a time, and going uh, back and forth on these these two detailed areas and that one. That's what I'm gonna do first, and then, um, then we'll uh, be able to do uh, I'll have to do the same thing with the other planes that have detailed areas, but we'll talk about that after I get this done. So again, I've got it set at uh, an eighth of an inch, um, and then I will, uh, I will gradually set it deeper from that point on after I'm done with my eighth inch cuts on both of these. Wow, I'm confused. Hope you guys got that. Oh. I got to set the speed up. I still had it. So let me explain that. I still had it set at uh, at a very low speed from when I was uh, cleaning the collet and, and the throat and stuff. You guys saw that the other day. All right, this should sound different.
So I was just kind of eyeballing how deep I was, and I am. What the heck is that? We got a woodpecker out here somewhere. Uh, I'm right at a quarter of an inch, and I think that's going to be okay. Again, guys, on this bit, this is, uh, you know, I think this one actually handled it better than the SC50 would have, but I would never try to take this that deep all in one shot. You would bust that tip off of there, no doubt. It's not really designed to, do, to go deep. You have to make it in multiple passes if you're going to want to go deep. And again, I normally, I would not be doing this, but because these are resin filled and I know Andrew has to take a bunch of material off in order to get this thing flat um, that's why I decided to do that so what I'm gonna do now is uh, I think I've got those deep enough now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swap bits out I'm gonna put my profile bit in and we're gonna finish these two planes up which will give you guys uh, I think really as much as you need because these are probably the two most difficult this one especially because of this stuff which really makes me nervous I'm kind of hoping that holds in this is already busted out a little bit but I think I'm gonna be able to to uh, make that work anyway so I'm gonna put my profile bit in and then we'll be right back okay so here's Eric's shop buddy Mag Magnum say hi 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 Nubbin <laughs> wait are you wagging the Nubbin oh wagging the Nubbin he's a good Mag say hi you don't like the heat huh no this is not his time of year Good boy. Good boy, Mag. <laughs> guys so let me explain oh I didn't do those two but I will so this uh, this uh, spalted pecan this stuff is tough it really is I I'm really babying this area right here just because of that that figuring and that these knots and stuff in here uh, I'm really you know really babying that even though I've got my cutter this is my profile bit I've got it set at a full eight uh, quarter of an inch deep I'm I you can see I've got w the base up a little bit as I'm gradually taking a little bit more a little bit more um, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, and and now I realize how hard this stuff is I won't be able to take this a full quarter of an inch at a time even with the profile bit I'll need to make it in two cuts because uh, as I was doing that here I could feel that thing was just starting to burn so I'm gonna have to take it and this uh, profile bit is uh, is sharp too so I'm gonna have to take it in multiple cuts that's the thing guys you just have to kind of figure out how your board is going to carve and even in the same species of boards sometimes one board will carve harder than another so uh, the, the rules uh, are never set in stone so I'm going to set this back I'm going to adjust this back to about half that depth somewhere around an eighth of an inch something like that and see uh, see how that works and then I'm going to have to go deeper so here we go
Okay guys, so uh, man, this stuff is really a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be from a, a hardness of the wood itself. It's it's actually not that hard to hold a line, but it, it man, this stuff is tough. I'm only cutting like an, well, I, I think I'm only cutting like an eighth of an inch deep. Uh, let me look. Uh, no, actually I'm cutting about 3 sixteenths. So, uh, but I've got to take it down to a quarter. So I'm gonna reset the cutter at a quarter of an inch on this one plane and uh, so that I've got this one out of the way. I know you guys can't see that, but it is set now at a quarter. I'm gonna cut in that same line a quarter of an inch deep. Again, this is different because this is gonna be epoxy filled and I've gotta have the depth all the, all the way around. Otherwise, he might lose some of that detail when he, uh, when he sands off, uh, planes off some of this surface. So, I'm gonna take it now at a quarter of an inch all the way around. Okay guys, well, I got that one pretty much carved. Um, what I'll do is I will come back. We're running way late on this video. I really thought I was gonna get this all done in one video, but uh, there's just no way. This stuff is carving much slower, much harder than I thought it would. Um, this is gonna be an all day project. Um, so, and, and being as I went into a lot of detail on the layout process, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, shut this video down now. Uh, we'll come back on the next video. Um, that will be the next video beyond this, the next newsletter letter. Uh, I will, um, I'm gonna be carving these and we'll be showing you uh, the, the um, more of the detail on this other jet and then we'll do the flat bottom with the spiral upcut and we'll get it definitely finished up on the next video so that's it guys it kind of it just is more than i really thought it was going to be this stuff really and this is a brand uh, basically a, a sharpened uh, profile bit and uh, if you had smell a vision you would smell it burning um so anyway, guys, that's it for this one. Hope this was helpful. Hope you like it. Uh, this is going to be quite a project, and you guys will see this when it's all done, like I said before. So thanks for watching so much. If you have questions on this or anything else, please email me directly, eric at makeawoodsign.com. I'm on Instagram every day, Make a Wood Sign. Uh, I will be on Pinterest soon, so stay tuned for that. I'm working on that. Actually, Vicky's working on that. So we'll be having content on Pinterest very, very soon. Uh, more content on uh, Facebook. And we'll be doing uh, some lives a little bit more often. So thanks again, guys. We love you all. Uh, email me if you have questions. And uh, if you need any router bits or supplies, the website is up there. Uh, you can go over there. Uh, email Vicky with Dave Signs at gmail.com if you have questions on supplies. Love you. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.